Hello Cancer, thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using Tarot in Wonderland uh, by Barbara Moore, illustrated by Eugene Smith. I think it's, is it down here? Yeah. Uh, website is Llewellyn.com. Feel free to freeze frame and check that out if you're interested. Supportive oracle cards are Magical Spell Cards, love this deck clearly, by Lucy Cavendish. Illustrated by Jesse Reich. Website is hayhouse.com. This is a really old deck. Um, that's there. I want to say Llewellyn and Hayhouse are very... Maybe they're different. I don't know. Maybe I'm just used to seeing both of them. But there you go. There's that information if you want to check that out. I don't know. There's a big... Like... There's big... There's something. There's a big something. What is it? Okay, so we got a good ending. <laughs> we got a good ending. Um, yeah, really good ending. Um, what are we starting off with? This is like, this card... I don't know why. This is the High Priestess, which is a good card. But when I'm looking at it on this one, it's kind of like... I feel like I'm afraid of what's actually what, what's actually there. I'm like a little afraid of what's actually there. Um, and I'm gonna when I see this, I've seen this card a few times and it just caught me off guard again because when I saw it, the image in the reflection reminds me of that movie Annabelle, that doll Annabelle, and I'm just like, oh my lord, I'm like, oh my goodness, this. Um, <laughs> I'm like, no. That is not something I would want to see if I looked in the mirror. If you look in the mirror and you saw that reflection, would you not have a fit? Would you not lose it? I would lose it. Um, I'm like, what is going on here? I'm like, what is happening? And you're you're delving deeper into the situation and you're seeing what's actually there. I feel like I don't want to. I don't want to, but I feel like I have no choice. I need to. This, it's like I don't have the luxury of not seeing this for what it actually is because there's too many people affected and there's like I've got a few people I care about and one of them isn't right and I have to look at them for who they actually are because if I don't see them for who they actually are it's worse for the people for the other people it's like it's like if there's a group of five people I care about all of them but one of them's a little bit messed up and I'm like I have to see it for what it really is Otherwise, these other four are just going to suffer more, and I don't. I don't want anybody suffering, especially people I care about. So I got to see what's really there. I got to see the truth, whether I like it or not. I need to see more of what's actually there, and by doing that, I feel like I'm looking deeper, and I'm like, I got to see the truth, and I feel like something isn't right here. The way this is playing out, something isn't right, and I got to look deeper. I got to look more closer. I got to scrutinize it a little bit more. Um, again, I feel trapped. I feel trapped that I gotta find the truth. I have to find it. I don't have a choice. I don't have a luxury to just see it through rose-colored glasses. And I feel like maybe you're a little hard on yourself, kind of like you know, I've worked with this situation. I've helped it move forward, but maybe I've been looking at it in a way that just like I've been seeing what I want to see. And I feel like you're addressing that within yourself, kind of like maybe I have been seeing what I want to see. And you are you're discovering something. There's something more in the center. Room. I'm addressing the elephant in the room. That card, that's not the first time that's come forward that way. Moon card and the Ten of Cups. You're, I feel like you're being a little hard on yourself, just to be fair. I feel like I'm looking at the past like, you know what, maybe I really have been sugarcoating that. Did somebody say something to you? I feel like maybe somebody accused you of just seeing it, seeing what you want and not seeing what's actually there. There's somebody who is harsh. I feel like somebody was harsh. Maybe you're being harsh to yourself. Maybe somebody else has been harsh to you. It seems to be adding into why I'm looking at this closer, kind of like I'm really uncomfortable and I'm like, have I, have I been looking at this? through these rose-colored glasses? Have I been doing that? You're being very honest with yourself. Again, I feel like I have no choice. I'm like, no, this has to be... Something isn't right. I know something isn't right, and maybe I've just been 
giving allowances that I really should not have. Really being, you're being hard on yourself, I think. Somebody else might also be, just to be fair. You're taking it seriously, though. You're taking it extremely seriously. Ten of Swords is here with the knowledge. The truth is coming in. You're looking for it. You're demanding it. You know you have to have it. And you're like, nope, nope. I got to see it for what it is. You might even have somebody else you're bouncing this off of. Kind of like, all right, all right, there's an issue here. And I need, I need a sounding board. I need somebody who's very brutally honest. Are you really choosing that? You might be. When cancer needs to fix something and they're worried about people they love, they will go to some links. You guys will put yourself through the ringer to get to get things to make things do what they should should be doing. You guys will bend over backwards. I, I I really feel like you're one of those signs that when you decide like oh no this has to go differently, I don't know what I need to do but it's going to happen. You will bend yourself in a pretzel. I really feel like you guys will do that when you decide it really has to happen. You will do it. Um, kind of like nope I love these people too much and I'm going to fix this. I don't know how I'm going to do it. It's making me feel like. Um, I just feel like I'm exposed. Like, I don't know, I feel like there's something I keep touching here for a reason. I feel like there's something on my head, but there's not. Well, there's like, oh, there, I'm exposed. <laughs> One of my bald spots, there you go. I am exposed, there you go. Um, I'm not excited about it. I don't like it. It makes me feel very uncomfortable. Um, but I'm not, I'm not backing down. You will not back down. I feel like you will not. I feel like I don't have that, again, I'm like, I don't have the luxury of backing down. It's not, it's not an option. I need to do what I need to do, and I've decided it will happen. You're facing, you are definitely facing your fear. Whatever that fear is, you, I don't know, what does this sound like when I say this? When you believe it has to be done, and people you love are affected by it, you get a lot of strength, and you're like, nope, it has to be dealt with, and here I go. And you don't, you don't let yourself overthink it. You're like, no, it needs to be handled. I'm going to handle it. You're facing the devil, which is, this is really difficult for you. Really difficult, but you're doing it. You're like, nope, I'm going to do it. When you go up against the devil, I'm not going to say it's going to be easy because I don't think that's right. I don't think that's true. It's not going to be easy for you to do that, but you also like whoever you're facing or whatever you're facing is also just as nervous as you are, but it's time to overcome it. And Whoever you're dealing with, uh, there might be a fear factor there. Uh, like, they're tr somebody's trying to hold you back, but you're not allowing it. You're like, if you won't work with me, I'll work around you. Four of Cups, they don't want to give in to you. Um, whoever this is, this is weird. They may not help you. But they might walk away from you, which is helpful. It may sound ironic, but like by what, if they walk away, they, they're not in your way. Granted, they're not helping you, but if they walk away, at least they're not in your way. I feel like that makes sense. If, if, I feel like when you deal with it, it's going to make sense. Because like instead of them standing in the doorway and like, you will not pass, they're kind of like, I'm not going to help you in that doorway. I'm not going to help you get inside this house. And then they just leave. So at least it's one less obstacle you have to deal with to get in the house. It has its benefit. It's better than them being another block. So there's that. You do overcome this. You do. Um, how? Perseverance is the only... That's the only word I'm getting. Perseverance. Because you're like... Your energy's like, no, there's no option. This needs to correct, so it will fix. You're very strong. It's also, I'm going to say this, I'm a water sign, I'm Pisces, I'm not Cancer, but Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, water signs, very intuitive. Um, we're one of those signs that just kind of like, people are like, how did you know how to do that? And our answer is, I have no idea. You just do, and you just get through it. Um, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You'll let me know in the comments, I'm sure. But it's just once in a while, somebody's like, how did you do that? And you're like, no idea. I have no idea. I just did. Um, or how did you know that you that's what you needed to do? And you're like, I didn't. I just did it. Because I just did. Um, that's just what it is. 
you, you're going to stabilize the situation. Things are going to go back to where they need to go. Not everybody's going to be happy. Again, you're in that realistic spot where this wasn't a situation where everybody can be happy. But you did your best with it. Is there anything else with that? Am I missing anything with that? You're doing what you have to do. You are doing what you have to do. Am I missing? Family, yeah, you're seven. The chariot card came out. That's you. Is the chariot out here anyway? I don't think so. Uh, that's the three of fire. You're going to keep moving forward. You're going to take care of those people you can. There's people you care about that you can't do anything for, and you're... You don't have the luxury of fighting it. You're just like, if I try to help somebody that I can't really help, I'm going to screw over the people that I can help. And I, I care about them all. But it's kind of like, again, if I have five people, if I spend all this energy trying to help somebody that I can't help, these other four suffer, and it's not fair that they suffer. So you're centering your energy on those you can help, and you're, again, you, you're, just, you're just centering your energy there. That's where you're centering your energy. I don't think you're letting yourself think about it too much, and I think that's smart. I think that's very smart. All right. Hopefully that helps. I'm going to shut this down here. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thanks again for watching, and have a great day.